Hi everyone, it's Gail, and it is week 41 of the Marguerite Miller Challenge. Look how fat our little book is getting. It's so fun. Yeah, but we've we've got a few more to go. Um, but yeah, 41. Crazy. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Um I'm gonna show you what I did over the weekend, and then um I did some fussy cutting on Christmas um, digitals and I had some ideas for ephemera while I was doing it. So I want to do those before I forget the ideas. <laughs> Let's say hi and hugs first. Hi and hugs to Joanne, Anna or Anna, I'm not sure, Marty and Vicki. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, before we get started, one other thing is um, that I wanted to tell you is Barbara from 49 Dragonflies has kindly invited me to be part of her next podcast. And so I wanted to ask you guys if you had any questions either of me or of Barbara, 49 Dragonflies, Joey DeFee, or Louise Heinzel. Uh, I think they're the ones, we're the ones that are going to be on here. So, um, so yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I thought it would be easy for me to refer to the week 41 video to get those questions. If you would, please. So thank you. Okay. So we need a tool for this. And I found this old piece um that's got this little dude in his um shop and he's got all kinds of tools so that's our tool doll that was harder dollar toy i found this and it's got the word doll right there so i think i might just use this strip of that something cold um i went back to my children's books again and um there's this picture of snow and then um, all kinds of pictures of little kids playing in the snow. So maybe use those. Playing card, either side. I have this Gale. <laughs> it's G-A, my initials. So I'm going to use that. Sheet music. I've got a couple of old sheet music pages. And security envelope design. Um, you could use the inside of a security envelope, but I have this... A decorative craft paper book from Catered Paper that has a bunch of security envelope patterns in it. So that's what we're going to use for this little uh, collage. And I think I'm going to start. I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to put this um, music paper over our pages. And then I'll use the uh, security envelopes to kind of put behind pictures or something. That's what I'm thinking. As usual, no plan in mind, really. But let's tear the bad edge off of this. So, hope you're all having a good day. I am. Except I started out with some technical difficulties. My um my mouse wouldn't work on my computer and I'm like, ay ay ay, how am I supposed to? <laughs> I I did a quick um quick bonus video this morning uh and I was like Okay, I can't get it. I can't upload it if it's going to be obstinate, you know? Okay, like that. Oh, almost. Not quite wide enough. Ooh, that one is. Okay. <clears throat> so, anyway, I started out kind of grumpy. <laughs> Te I don't, technical difficulties and I oh I like that side better don't get along very well you know it's like I want things to work right away every 
every time I do them, you know? Didn't happen this morning, but that's okay. So are you guys watching The Voice? I've been watching The Voice at night. Um, ooh, I love Minuet in G. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? Yeah. And then I'm going to have GA on here. I'm telling you, life is good. Minus a little technical difficulty this morning. Life is good. Um, anyway, I've been watching The Voice. That's always fun. Don't have a favorite yet because I'm still just watching the um, auditions, you know. But, okay, we need little glue pages and we need a little glue stick so yeah <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I might need a sip of water I'm sorry I still have a little residue a little cough every now and again it's much much better as I'm sure you can hear because um, well, it was sounded pretty croaky there for a week or two. Jeez Louise. But it's better now. should probably get my card. Get that smoothed out nicely. So, yeah. Um, that's what I've been watching in the, you know, after... Mike goes to sleep because he he's a he's a early to bed early to rise. I'm a late to bed late to rise. <laughs> Where ah oh I just don't like it when I do that. Um yeah so we're on opposite schedules kind of but it's okay it gives him time in the morning you know on his own without me blabbing at him or anything you know I think he likes that because <laughs> the rest of the day you know I, it's on <laughs> okay so let's do this one um so yeah i'm gonna do as many videos as i can today and that was what was frustrating me mostly about my technical difficulties is um i need to do as many videos as i can today because my husband's brother is coming to visit you know so So yeah, I just thought what I'd do is tell Barbara to look at the comments on this video for any questions and she can pick the ones she likes and um, and I don't have to retype them all that way. That's what I was thinking. Not lazy, just efficient, right? Okay, so now we're to the laying out part because um and then we'll we'll put some of the papers behind. So this card, I was almost thinking about a pocket for it or something, which I could make out of the goes this way, out of the um security envelope paper. Okay, so let's just pretend like there's a pocket there. Um, we need, let me tear out the tools. Which kind of really doesn't, it's kind of ripped. Kind of really doesn't go with anything else we have going on here, but you know. I do love the color of this paper. I think it's really cool. One of my friends here at home gave me this old, like, um, maybe it was a Popular Mechanics or something like that magazine. 
and this was the paper. So yummy and crunchy and old. Okay. I love this because it reminds me of my dad's shop. Okay, so I don't know where that's going to go, but we've got that torn out. Now we need to think about this, which I think I'm just going to tear it like so. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go. Okay, then let's think about our kids. Can't decide which pictures to use. The snow could go right there. Right under there. Um... Tear this cleanly off. Okay, so that then fits. And then maybe we'll just kind of fussy tear. All I want is the snow and the children looking outside. Kind of like that. That's cute. Can I make a pocket out of that? It's fun in the snow. I need to keep that. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off right here. I'm going to need to have an, another stamping day one of these days because um, I've got a lot of papers over there that could be stamped. Gosh, I hate to do half a doggy, but if I do that, will my, that will barely fit, but I'm still going to do it that way because I can't. can't cut the dog in half. I'm going to take the, this off of there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just I'm going to put that there and then this is going to go in. So I'm going to have to be really careful and just do the edges. Okay. I think I need a little distressing. To just highlight that torn edge just a bit. Well, I feel like this page is coming together. I don't know, the other page is definitely going to need more, so I think I can use another another snowy. I'm going to put that over a little bit so that her tootsies show and a little music shows. So, yeah. Okay, I'm feeling committed to this page, so let's just get, get some stuff put down here. And then we'll work on the other page. Okay, you go over there. Okay, let's get you down. I'm telling you, my, my children's books have saved my bacon on this challenge. Because <clears throat> there's always sunshine, there's cold. <laughs> so, okay, so I want to put that just under the Ludwig von Beethoven right there. Okay, 
Now this guy, we got to just be so careful. Just get the barely the edge. Maybe my glue's going to come out, but... Just ever so slightly on the edges. Want it to stick, but. Okay. And I thought I'd put this kind of over here. Like that. Okay. Now. not done with that page. I'm going to let that dry before I put the card in. But we need to do something over here. Kind of like that under there. Um, now, which... These go with this. So uh, I really love this little girl, though. But I think I'll save her for something else. So I'm thinking maybe this little... Okie dokie. Um, I don't know that I want... Do I want it square? I think it's okay square. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Excuse me. I hope you weren't falling asleep when I did that. My husband always teases me because I've told him that you guys fall asleep to my videos sometimes. <laughs> he says, he says, yeah, it's pretty much like when we were younger and you'd relive, relive the births of our children. <laughs> Put him right out. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, I... I'm happy with that, but I want some security envelope behind it. <laughs> so I tease him and say, yeah, you'd fall asleep hearing about it just like you fell asleep while I was in labor. <laughs> He's like, well... It didn't hurt me. <laughs> oh, you're bad. I remember I was having, I think I was having, gosh, I think it was the first baby. So it was my son and um, the lady down the hall. Oh my goodness. You'd have thought she was being killed she was screaming and my nurse said just so you know you don't that's not helping <laughs> if you scream like that you um lose the energy oh i like this one i think you lose the energy that you should be using to you know to have the baby <laughs> Oh, I was just like, because I, I think she looked at me and my eyes were like saucers, like, oh my gosh, is that what it's going to be like? <laughs> oh, I probably should have taken that out neater, but you know, I'm on a, I'm, I'm on a time frame, not really, but I do want to get this done so I can get on to doing something else. Okay, so I'm thinking about a piece of this, kind of like under here, in between all of these. Maybe I put that one in the middle. Okay, well, 
I'm going to put this on. I'm going to commit to it. So anyway, yeah, I'm sure I was just, you know, I'm just the naive little girl having her first baby at, I barely had turned 21. And we've got the lady screaming bloody murder down the hall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It really did kind of scare me. I'm sure she would have felt bad if she realized that. But, <laughs> oh, goodness. That was a few years ago, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, and then I think I'll put this in the middle. Need a new, need a new glue page. Ew, sticking all over the place. Um, yeah. Have I ever told you on my daughter, on my second daughter, or my second child, my oldest daughter, um, at feeding time, this was, of course, before the baby stayed in your room. At feeding time, they brought me the wrong baby. Oh my gosh. And, of course, this poor little baby wouldn't nurse because it knew I wasn't his mommy. And um, so I finally told the gal, I said, you know, why don't you just let me play with the baby a little bit and maybe then... You know, maybe then she'll she'll eat or whatever. And um, and <laughs> so as soon as she left, I pulled the blankets back and looked at the ankle bracelet. Sure enough, that baby's name wasn't Augustinelli, and I freaked out because I'm thinking, "Where's my baby?" You know, I've got this baby. Where's my baby? <laughs> So I rang the buzzer and I was crying, a little emotional after, you know, babies and such. <laughs> and, um, and I said, this is not my baby. Where's my baby? And, um, the nurse, it was a different nurse. She grabbed the baby and off she went and then my baby appeared like two seconds later and um <laughs> and I could hear yelling down the hallway that poor nurse that brought me the wrong baby was in big trouble Ooh. so <laughs> yeah that was kind of crazy but and then we go to take her home and they gave they brought the wrong baby again. I was like, oh my gosh, people. I'm a fairly patient person, but I was on my last nerve with those people giving me the wrong baby. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop that up there if I can fit it. I don't want to cover up my G. Yeah. yeah. I'll put that there. So anyway, yeah, that was crazy. And I mean, I had had one before that, so I knew how things were supposed to go, and I knew that all that wasn't supposed to be the way it was. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Move that over a little bit. Okay. Um, I feel like I'd like a little strip down this way. Let's put our card in now that this is dry. Probably down too low. Don't tell me I... Did I glue the wrong side? Gail? No, I didn't. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> it's like... You need to quit talking and concentrate on what you're doing. <laughs> okay, there's my playing card. And I'm going to put that right along there. 
So anyway, those were the those were the traumas of my early years. <laughs> oh. there. Okay, now I think I want one there. We'll do this side. Yeah. Kind of just using it like washi tape, huh? I definitely Definitely need something over here too. I don't know exactly what yet. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with this page. Now, let's look at this one a little more. So what I was wondering is I could put this fun in the snow. Like somewhere. That's cute. Oh, look, Miss Hall. Look at the snow. I'm ending up covering up all the music paper, but there's not a lot right there anyway. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that right there. I thought I was done. I'm not quite done <laughs> with this page. So there's my childbirth stories. Um, if you were watching this before you go to sleep, I hope it helped you. <laughs> As it does my husband. <sighs> like maybe right there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Now you, oh, I think I'm going to try and jaggedy up this edge a little bit. Fingernail or thumbnails together. Okay. So, yeah, that could go right there. That kind of rounds that out a little bit. It's not so square. Okay. Do I need a few more pieces of this? Maybe. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, we watched a bad movie last night. I mean, it it wasn't, you know, like... I don't know. It just wasn't very good. Um, what was it called? It's not going to be very helpful if I can't remember what it was called, is it? Um, hmm. Oh, something the shore. There, I like that because that music shows still. Okay, and I think I'm going to put some up there. Just to... Just have three on the page, uh, mostly. <laughs> Under the Shore? Something like that. It was on um, Amazon. Had that James Gagliano or whatever that was on the Sopranos and those kind of shows. Hmm. 
Hmm. I feel like I need something right there or right there. I want that to show though. So maybe we'll put another bit of music. Like right there. I do love these children's pages, though, in these um, collages. I think they're so cute. Okay. Let's just put that in there. Okay, I like that better. Let me look through the viewfinder here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to look at my watch again. So we're just going to go until we feel like stopping. How's that? Um... Hmm. I feel like I need like a something right there. It's not coming to me at the moment, so I'll just call that good. And if I come up with something for there, you'll see it in the pictures on Instagram and on my Cinnamon Toast Facebook. So there we go. We got them all. Tool, doll, cold, playing card, sheet music, security envelope. Woohoo! We did it. Okay, on to the next thing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, I wanted to show you what I did over the weekend. Um, these are the little cards that um, I, I put my um, transparent washi tape on. So, and they're all sewn, and I wanted to show you. So, I just sewed around. This is the washi tape right here, and then put it on a journal card. I especially wanted to show you those, too, because I did the same thing there. So, aren't those fun? And then I, I just sewed around these. All of them. Very happy with how all those turned out so those could be filed away then i did a big um a big collage of uh the art nouveau william morris sort of stuff so that when i do that journal if i need tags or journal cards i'll have it all ready to go and i did use some of the mucha from artie mays and then it did a bunch of collaging on the back. So I did that big strip too. That, so those were those were my two weekend projects. Okay, let's get rid of this paper. And um, I cut out the Vintage Christmas, Christmas Joy um, from a jewel design. And I wanted to do a couple things with it. So First of all, there's this pocket, and I think I want to put it on some scrapbook paper to kind of strengthen it a little bit. And I got this, um, obviously, from Hobby Lobby, <coughs> and it's all kinds of plaids, which I wasn't sure if that would really go with this. But I was kind of looking, and I think it will. I think there's some that will look nice. Like, I don't mind that. This one I really like. I think this is going to be the one I pick, I think. I mean, that's kind of fun. No. No. Don't mind it. Let's see. Let's just use this one. I do like the plaid because it just kind of goes with everything, you know? And it's a good accent piece. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get that Art Nouveau journal done. And then I'm going to get busy on um, doing... Excuse me, doing um, 
Christmas journal. I don't know if I'm ahead, behind, or whatever, but it just seemed like seems like it would be fun to start. I'm getting the hankering, let's just say. And then there'll come a point where I'm just like, okay, I'm over doing Christmas journals. <laughs> okay, let's just cut this. Now, how tall do I want it? I think... Maybe seven inches. Kind of cover a page. I've started, let me show you. I've started a little bin of Christmas ephemera that I've kind of made. These these two came from MK Maz. Um, so I've kind of started that just to, and I don't know what I have left in my, Stuff. One of these days, when it's time to get that stuff out, I'll I'll do it with you guys. Okay, I'm thinking I want to back these on some book page just to strengthen them up a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to glue them to a book page in order to have them thicker before we put them on anywhere um yeah so anyway I just thought since I cut these out yesterday I was like I had this idea that I wanted to put this on to um onto scrapbooking paper and then I had another idea with another thing and I thought okay well I could probably get those in after I do my um, collage. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know. I might sew around this too. I was thinking. So, yeah, Sundays are kind of my. I like to sit and watch football. And if I can fussy cut, then it's like I feel like I'm still being productive, but, <laughs> but I'm really just relaxing. Okay. So now, let's ink those up. These are such cute envelope or uh, pockets and I think these are unique to um, to Jolene at a jewel design. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Let's just glue that on the three sides. Yeah, I'm glad I put the put it on. I had just. Um, printed it on photo paper 28 pound I think it is and so wasn't super strong so I think this will be better okay and then you on the other side Isn't that so cute with the two pockets? I love that. Okay, so now I need to decide, do I want to round the corners? Do I want to make them a tag shape? I 
Maybe I'll make it a tag shape just for fun. And I might do a little distress. Kind of around it because it's it's uh, got white a white core that is showing. Okay. Well, I think that's that's good for now. I mean, I could always do something up here, but I think I'll wait until I have a book to put it in. So one piece done. Then what I was thinking what was it, these ones. Yes, these little journal cards, they kind of have backs, you know, fronts and backs. So there's the backs. Here's the fronts. And so I thought I'd put them together. And yeah, I think I'll put them together and then uh, maybe decorate them a little bit if we have time. I don't know. If we have time, because I, <laughs> I did not, let's see, which one, I think I'll do this one, um, did not look at my watch when we got started. That's what happens when I'm all discombobulated from, because of technical problems. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's just pop this down. Yeah, that makes a nice thickness. It's not super thick. So let's do this one and the music. How about? <clears throat> There's fun little fussy cut pieces too in this kit that I'm thinking would be. F Oops, don't want to put it. On. Don't put it on the decorated side, you dork. Ugh. My husband would say, be nice to yourself. Okay. But I do do dorky things. I do. Okay. Especially this polka dot one needs, needs a little, as Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventures would say, needs a little zhuzhing. Oh, that's this reminds me. It's got a little pink around the edge. I wanted to look and see if um, I have red and green distress ink that I might want to use. <clears throat> Let's just look. All distressed oxide, I think. Yep, sure is. A lot of them I haven't even opened. I got a big, huge set of them, and I just just haven't. Okay, well, we'll just vintage photo these ones, and um, I'll search for it when I'm not filming. How about vintage photo looks nice on them, though. hungry is it oh it's getting to be lunchtime that's why I'm just gonna while I'm inking look no doesn't look like time to an hour yet I can only see the the hour time I can't see the minutes <laughs> in my new my new camera holder And I'll show you the cute little, um, cute little embellishments that are included. Okay, so I 
Right, so these. <coughs> all come with the kit. All these fun little cutouts. So let me see what might what might be fun. So I have this little girl who seems like she'd be a good size for that. Yes, she would. Um, I think I want some book page behind her. And I can grab any, so I'll just grab out of here. And just have a little bit behind her. So she's not just floating on the page. And then I think I might do a little tab at the top. Just a little something like that. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm going to put the tab on before I put these on because she goes right to the very top. So yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I am getting kind of excited to work on Christmas stuff. <laughs> I have so many other to do's on my brain though, but. Um, but yeah, okay, so I just need to dig here because there were some other tabs that, there's that one, that one, do we have a little bit darker one? I thought there was three that I remember. Hmm. This one to be okay. So I don't cut them completely out. I just cut the sides so then I can fold them. And, <clears throat> excuse me, fold them and then, then I only have to cut around it once, if you know what I mean. Picking up what I'm throwing down, okay. So, I think next video will be um, the Art Nouveau or William Morris, whatever you want to call it, journal. I'm going to work on that, get that done. Okay, so now I am going to put that on the top and then we'll put our people, our people, our little girl on. So don't forget to put your questions in the comments, guys. Because if there's things, this would be a perfect opportunity if there's things that you'd like to ask about. <clears throat> We're going to just trust that I'm putting that in the right spot. Oop, wasn't good. Bent it, bent it. <laughs> okay, you're a cute little girl. Like I want a little something right there. You know what? There's little bitty, I don't know if I grabbed them, little bitty labels. I thought there was. I think that was in something else I cut up. I think it was. Um, do 
I want a little word there. Could put a word there or an up and down word. Maybe one of Jolene's up and down words. Let me see. Where are those? Right here. Yes. I think I might want dream here. Yep. That works out. Still a jewel design. <laughs> but just from one of her other kids. She has lots of word kits and the up and down is so awesome. Exactly what that needed. Okay, that's cute. I'm happy with that one. I'm looking at the clock again. Yeah, happy about that one. Okay, and then this one. I'm wondering if one of the labels or something. It's a bit too big. I'm wondering about like stamping something on there or something. I don't have any Christmas stamps out. I could just put it on there and then do it later if I wanted. I think I'll do that. Um, <clears throat> I do think I'd like a little book page behind the label, though. Just kind of stick that right there. feel like it needs something else like lace ribbon something I'm looking at my scrap box seeing if there's something I could put there a little bit of lace or something. Um, I'm looking for real thin lace. Oh, here we go. I think maybe a bit of this. Okay, I kind of like it in middle I think I love the thin lace you know I just I really I pick it up whenever I see it because it comes in so handy And I think I'll leave the label blank because whoever would end up with this journal might want to put like a date or something in there. Okay, we'll use art glitter for this too. Okay, well, we got two out of three done. That's kind of cute. Not anything to write home about, but <laughs> it's okay. Little, little card there. Gosh, I, I wish I would have looked at my watch. Okay. Those two done. This one doesn't need much, does it? Put another one of those on there. It's 
something there. Just looking at what's on my desk. Okay. Thinking. I like that little different something huh but I had those slides that I had taken out on another project just sitting right there just uh, waiting to be put somewhere we go something like that <coughs> okay we did that all right so I don't know I don't it doesn't look like I'm at an hour yet but I think I'll call that a video and just a reminder, please um, put any questions that you have that you'd like to see on the podcast, put those in the description box, if or, or description box, put those in the comments if you would. So thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.